Hey everybody, Stir.dll here with a video tutorial on how to install mods on Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Um, I wanted to make this video just to show how easy it is to install mods for Monster Hunter and also just to guide people and where to start when you want to start modding uh, Monster Hunter World. Um, I just wanted to show how easy it was. So this video is going to cover uh, just first um, how I do it. I use a mod manager. Um, so we're going to, I'll show you how to install that. Uh, Strackers Loader, which is definitely a requirement for a lot of mods on the Nexus. And also just how to install a mod that requires uh, Strackers Loader. And just show you the results of that. Um, I'm going to put all the links in the description down below so that you guys have ease of access but make sure that if you do go download these these things just endorse the mod creators and and support them uh over at the nexus so first things first is that we're going to be installing the mod manager which i've already downloaded here here i've everything downloaded we're just going to start with the mod manager and it's a very simple thing um, where we just need any zip program. I use 7-zip. You can use WinRAR. But very easily what you do is you simply extract the contents to a folder. Uh, open up the folder and look for the Monster Hunter World modmanager.exe. And just double click it. It's going to open up and then it's going to ask you where your Monster Hunter World um exe is installed so i just gener um me it's usually on the c drive so uh it should find it if it's on the c drive and you just select it open it and then we can just switch this to dark mode so it doesn't blind our eyes and that's pretty much the mod manager done and good now uh, the next step is going to be to install Strackers Loader. And Strackers Loader requires uh, two things from Microsoft, which are both the Microsoft Visual C++ 2015 to 2019 redistributable x86 and x64. So um, once you install both of these, it's going to ask you to restart your computer. So the best thing to do is simply to install both and then restart your computer um, after both are installed. So restart the computer. And then after that, we come back and we'll simply open the zip file here for Strackers Loader. And we'll navigate to our Monster Hunter World folder. So usually mine is in C, Program Files, x86, for Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Monster Hunter World. And we simply just drag and drop into this. So I have already installed it, so I'm just going to skip both. So just drag and drop into the Monster Hunter World folder. And then that's your Strackers Loader done and installed. Now, the final piece is to install the mod. So here I have um the dropped effects mod here and as the thing is with the mod manager is that you have to remember that it only uses uh zip files so since this is a rar we're going to have to make sure to rezip this but the important thing is we got to rezip the native pc folder because it won't detect anything else if we don't. So what we need to do here is 
Um, unzip it. And then we go back into this folder and then we zip native PC and then you can rename it whatever you want. So I'll rename it right here. So here we go. Then all we do after that sift is we just drag it in and in this case we'll just activate. So you select it and activate it. Here it's already activated. I'll just show you guys that. Then we can just click that and activate and it'll be activated. So I'll go in game and show you guys um the results of this. Okay, so here we are in game and let me just pick up some pods here and I'll show you what happens when we do this. So as you can see, pods appear and the mod has successfully been installed. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much how you, uh, install mods in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. So, thank you so much for watching. And, um, if you like this video, just leave a comment. Or if you have questions or anything, feel free to, to comment below or, or message me. And uh, subscribe to the channel for more Monster Hunter World Iceborne videos. And thank you so much for watching.